In today's video, we will be creating dual light glowing logo design in Adobe Photoshop. This design is fully customizable. I mean, you can change its color. You can move the logo around and the reflection will follow it. And the best thing is you can also edit the text. So if you want to download this project file, check the link in the video's description. It is absolutely for free. Now hit the like button and let's jump to the Photoshop. Okay, so here we are in Photoshop and the first thing that we need to do is to create a new document. I am going with the full HD resolution with the size of 1920 by 1080 and the resolution is 72 pixels per inch. Also change the color mode to 16 bit per channel. By the way, if you are not able to see this option right here, just click on create. Now inside of Photoshop, go to image, mood and from here you can change the color mode to 16 bit per channel. So that we can play with the color more precisely. Anyways, so we need a black background but the background is white. So invert it by pressing Control I. Also unlock this layer. Now create a gradient adjustment layer and select this black and white gradient. Click here to edit it. Select this point and change its color. Pick any vibrant color that you like. I am going with this pinkish color. Hit OK. Now select this point and change its color. I want to go with this sky blue color. Hit OK. Now click on this button to save this gradient so that we can also use it later. Hit OK. Change its angle to 0. Increase its scale to about 200% and check the dither option to remove some of the bandages. And then hit OK. Also drop down its opacity to 20%. Now select both layers and put them in a group by pressing Ctrl G. Let's rename it background. Now drag and drop this image into the Photoshop. By the way, you can download these kind of images from Envato Elements. They have 7 day free trial, so if you want to check them out, click on the link in the video's description. Anyways, let's move it down, squash it a little bit, right click on it and choose perspective. And then distort it just like this, so that it will look like a ground. Hit enter to confirm it. Press Ctrl M to open curves, and adjust the curves just like this to make the image darker. Hit OK. Also change its blend mode to screen. Now to make it more 3D, let's duplicate it by pressing Ctrl J. Change its blend mode to overly. Go to filter. Stylize and choose emboss. Angle is 145. Height is 10 pixel. And the amount is 110. It will create this nice bump which is looking awesome. Now select both layer and put them in a group by pressing Ctrl G. Let's rename it ground. Now to give it a color, right click on this layer and go to blending option. In the layer style menu, click on gradient only. Blend mode is color. Opacity is 50%. Click on this drop down menu and select the gradient that we created in the beginning. Increase its scale to 150% and make sure its angle is 0. Hit OK. Now let's create a solid color adjustment layer on top of everything and change its color to black. Hit OK. Now drag and drop your logo into the Photoshop and resize it. Confirm it. Let's put this layer in a group by pressing Ctrl G. Rename it logo. Now let's zoom in a little bit. Right click on this layer and go to blending option. In the layer style menu, click on drop shadow. Blend mode is linear dutch 8. Pick this sky blue color. Opacity is 40%. Angle is minus 180. Distance is 8 pixel. And the size is 30 pixel. Now click on this plus icon to add another drop shadow. This time just change its color. And change its angle to 0 to flip it. And then hit OK. Now select the ellipse tool. Change its fill to none. And the stroke to gradient. Scroll down and select this gradient. Change its angle to 0 and increase its scale to about 150%. Make sure the stroke size is 6 pixel. And then draw a circle just like this. Now to align it perfectly into the center, pick your move tool, click on these three dots and change this option to canvas. Now click on align horizontal center and align vertical center. It will align the selected layer perfectly into the center. Now let's call it a ring. Also convert it into a smart object. Now to create its glow, let's duplicate it by pressing Ctrl J and rename it glow. 
change its blend mode to linear dutch 8 go to filter blur and choose gaussian blur blur at about 10 pixel and then hit ok now duplicate this layer by pressing ctrl j double click on this gaussian blur filter and increase its value to 20 pixel hit ok duplicate it once more by pressing ctrl j double click on the filter and increase its value to 30 duplicate it few times and increase its blur value by 10 percent stop it when you are reached to 100 percent now select the ring layer right click on this and choose blending option click on color overlay pick a white color and set its opacity to 35 percent hit ok now select all of these layers and group them together by pressing ctrl g let's call it glowing ring now select these three layers and convert them into a smart object now because this layer contain our logo design let's call it logo design and now all you need to do is to just change its blend mode to linear dirge 8 and there we have by the way hit the subscribe button if you are not subscribed to this channel yet anyways let's move it up a little bit to create the reflection let's duplicate this layer by pressing ctrl j and rename it reflection drag it beneath the logo design layer press ctrl t to open transform tool right click on it and choose flip vertical let's move it down stretch it a little bit and then hit enter to confirm it now go to filter blur and choose gaussian blur blur it about 5 pixel and then hit ok again go to filter blur this time choose motion blur angle is 90 degree and the distance is 100 pixel hit ok now to blend the reflection with the ground let's open this group select this layer hold alt key on your keyboard and drag it to the top to duplicate it in the same position rename it mask let's change its blend mode back to normal also remove all of these effects from it now hold alt key on your keyboard and click on this eyeball to hide all the layers except this one now go to channels hold ctrl key on your keyboard and click on this rgb channel it will load the bright pixels now again hold alt key on your keyboard and click on this eyeball to make everything visible now release your hold key and hide it select this reflection layer and click on this icon to create a layer mask to remove this part of the reflection hold ctrl key on your keyboard and click on this mask layer to load the selection press ctrl shift i to invert the selection select the layer mask pick the paint bucket tool make sure your foreground color is black and then click inside the selection it will hide this part also delete this layer because we don't need it anymore now create a curves adjustment layer on top of everything and adjust it just like this to add a little bit brightness and contrast now let's create new layer and rename it noise pick a 50% gray color make sure the b value is 50 and the s value is 0 hit ok select the paint bucket tool click inside the canvas to fill it convert the layer into a smart object so we can edit it later change its blend mode to overlay go to filter noise and choose air noise amount is 10 percent distribution is gaussian and make sure this monochromatic option is checked hit ok also drop down its opacity to 70 percent now to change its color create a hue and saturation adjustment layer and by moving this slider you can change its color if you want to change the logo just select this layer double click on it it will open another document now open this group hide this layer and now here you can replace your logo or you can just use your text so I'm gonna select my type tool and type my text close this document and save it when you are done with the editing and full shuffle update everything in the main document now to move the logo around first you need to click here to unlink this layer mask now select these two layers and now you can move it by the way if you want to learn how to create this design you can watch this video thank you so much guys for watching this video i hope you enjoy it hit the like button if you like this video subscribe to the channel also ring the bell icon so you will get notified whenever i post a new video just like this one i'll be catch you in my next video till then peace